This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our coverage of the dock rendezvous and docking of the MS-11 uh, Soyuz spacecraft carrying three new members of the Expedition 57 crew aboard the International Space Station about to arrive uh, scheduled for a docking at 11.36 a.m. Central Time. You're getting a look at the inside of the International Space Station flight control room here in Houston, Texas. Teams here are overlooking the systems of the International Space Station and ensuring a good configuration for the arrival of the MS-11 craft. Leading the teams today is Flight Director Mike Lammers there in the front of your screen. He's working there in the background with Adam Springer, the Capcom for today, who will be communicating to the crew aboard the International Space Station, who are now looking over a good uh, rendezvous and docking, uh, ensuring the arrival of three new crew members to the International uh, Space Station. To activate or to press record at 1651 after we go into uh, Soyuz UPS. Just under 15 kilometers away now is the Soyuz uh, MS-11 craft carrying the three new spacefarers right here is uh, Mission Control Moscow uh, in the town of Korolev, just outside of Moscow. Flight controllers there are uh, looking over the systems and communicating with the Soyuz spacecraft that is, uh, again, just under uh, 15 kilometers away from the station. It's been a fast journey. Uh, the Soyuz MS-11 craft just launched uh, just over five hours ago from this point. 5.31 a.m. Central Time, uh, Soyuz MS-11 uh from the Baikonur Cosmodrome over at the Site-1 launch pad. Temperature at the time in Baikonur was 24 degrees Fahrenheit, a nice brisk uh, evening uh, over there in Baikonur. 5.31 uh, p.m. Sun, uh, Baikonur time there. It was a textbook ascent as the Soyuz uh, climbed to its um, orbital uh, insertion, entered into an orbit uh, just o under uh, nine minutes. It's a nine minute climb, uh, about eight minutes, 45 seconds into orbit. Solar arrays deployed and the crew began its six hour journey uh, to the International Space Station. Looking at an arrival uh, just under uh, an hour from now. Uh, over the course of the five hours, the uh, crew inside the MS-11, led by the commander of the Soyuz spacecraft, Oleg Kononenko. Joining him inside the Soyuz spacecraft is uh, NASA's Anne McLean, taking the seat to the right of Oleg Kononenko, and David St. Jacques, uh, the Canadian Space Agency taking the seat to the left. Three crew members are about to arrive to the International Space Station scheduled for a docking at 11.36 a.m. Central Time. Everything looking good so far. Flight teams here have been tracking the approach of the Soyuz MS-11 craft. There's a series of delta velocity burns that uh, initiate it, that um, allow the vehicle to approach the International Space Station to a point to begin the automated rendezvous. Uh, that happened uh, just about right on time at uh, 9.26 a.m. Central Time this morning. And once that flicks to an automatic mode, um, a series of impulse burns uh, allow the vehicle to get closer and closer to the International Space Station. There's been uh, three successful impulse burns so far. We're looking at about six uh, until we actually start the fly around mode. The Soyuz spacecraft is going to dock to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. This is on the Russian side and faces out towards space. So the vehicle itself, the Soyuz MS-11 craft, will have to actually fly around the International Space Station towards uh, the top and then approach uh, from that direction. The crosshairs from the crosshairs of the craft, once we get communication of the Soyuz MS-11, we'll be showing the Earth in the background. You can see it there at the top of this graphic. 
Many other visiting vehicles aboard right now, including the Northrop Grumman Cygnus 10 on the Unity module. This will use MS-09. That is the vehicle for the station uh, members currently aboard the orbiting complex, Serena Anand Chancellor, Alexander Gerst, and Sergei Prokopiev. One, two, three. That in addition to two progress vehicles, 70 and 71. From the uh, map at the center screen of uh, the Mission Control Center over in Korolev, just outside of Moscow, you can see the International Space Station uh, flying right now over southeastern Australia at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. We're about to uh, cross the Terminator line. You can start seeing views from the outside of the International Space Station starting to illuminate the complex as we enter into an orbital sunrise. Can you uh, see it now? Uh, yes, ISS is in the center of the periscope screen. Yes, uh, copy, and we are seeing it now as well. Thank you. Starting to get some uh, illuminated views now. As we uh, track the approach of the Soyuz vehicle uh, to the International Space Station now, just about seven kilometers away from the space station, okay. closing in at a rate of about uh, 10 meters per second, here you can actually see the view from the Soyuz spacecraft. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but right in the crosshairs there, they are uh, aiming for the International Space Station. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see in Cyrillic the uh, range and the range rate. Looking at just under seven kilometers now, approaching at a rate of about uh, just over 10 meters per second. Again, there's going to be a series of milestones, a series of impulse burns. The Soyuz spacecraft will slow its approach as it gets closer to the International Space Station, making sure that uh, the docking and or the approach and docking will be a safe one. There's a, after some of these burns, there's a series of more milestones, including the fly around that I've described earlier. But there's also a, a milestone called station keeping. This uh, is a holding point to basically assess uh, the command for the final approach. At that point, the uh, Soyuz spacecraft and the International Space Station will be flying uh, basically in tandem, allowing uh, the final approach initiation to commence and a slow and steady approach for docking on the Poisk module at the top of the station on time scheduled at 11.36 uh, uh, a.m. Central Time. Uh, IDAR. Did you ask about You can see some of the telemetry from the Soyuz, the bottom left, uh, just under six kilometers at this point. You're starting to see the outline of the International Space Station just uh, to the uh, bottom left of those crosshairs getting a little bit clearer. Can we proceed with uh, burn three? Please monitor burn three completion. Copy. Uh, we still have six minutes remaining until burn three. Yes, uh, this is the estimated time.
now just under five kilometers away from the space station, the outline is still becoming clearer. Visiting vehicle officers working with flight controllers over at the Mission Control Center in Moscow. Everything looking good as the uh, Soyuz continues to approach the International Space Station. Now just under four kilometers away, the Soyuz spacecraft approaching the International Space Station. The outline of the solar arrays to the left and right uh, starting to become a little bit clearer. From this position, the uh, Soyuz is approaching from uh, below and behind the International Space Station. That part sticking out to the top uh, middle is the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Once it gets within range, it'll start its fly around to move from uh, the approaching the bottom of the station to the top and position itself in a sta station keeping position uh, right before the final approach and docking today. One minute remaining till burn start. Less than three kilometers away from the International Space Station. Again, the Soyuz is currently in an automated rendezvous mode. What you're seeing now is part of an automated system uh, to approach the International Space Station. There's a series of six impulse burns to get it into position. Three have been completed. KDU uh, combined propulsion system repressed should be illuminated now. Yes, copy. Yes, uh, confirm the maneuver at 15.00. Copy. I think I will check uh, KDU combined propulsion system parameters. Sounds good. Yeah, got it. Sorry. Good 
Okay, let's continue. Blanco in progress. Закончили разворот. Маневр is complete. What you just saw was one of many maneuvers to allow the Soyuz to be in a position uh, to begin the fly around mode. Uh, again, series of uh, additional impulse burns coming up. In the meantime, you can see from one of the external uh, high definition viewing cameras. The International Space Station itself is start starting to get some good views of the Soyuz vehicle as it approaches. Antares, Antares, do you confirm XKD activation? No, I cannot confirm uh, SKD main engine activation. Well, well, let's check again. Well, actually. It was at 20.01, but we couldn't really tell. We couldn't confirm. Okay. GK, main command at 20.01.37 was issued. GK plus 10 at 20.01.50. Copy. SKD activation 5.09. Did you get a message? No. No messages, but uh, GK and GK plus 10 commands uh, were uh, sent. 20.01.27 SKD activation, copy. And uh, uh, could you please reposition the screen? Okay. Y yes, could you please reposition the screen, the display? Okay. Okay. Done. And we're currently in a handover period between some of the communications with the International Space Station. Space Station using tracking and data relay satellites uh, to provide video and audio communication from the International Space Station and the views you were seeing of the Soyuz spacecraft back to the Mission Control Center, uh, both over in Moscow and here in Houston. I, uh, well this was uh, one of a set of, um, this will be one of the longer handover periods that we'll encounter today. Uh, much uh, shorter gaps coming up here in the future. In the meantime, uh, the fourth impulse burn uh, was confirmed to be completed successfully. Again, six total uh, before the final approach and uh, station keeping of the Soyuz vehicle with the International Space Station to get to uh, an on-time docking of, again, 11.36 a.m. Central Time. Frame 44. What about uh, frame 44? What is the burn uh, value? 20.01.26, SCADA activation time, uh, 12 kilogram. Uh, of propellant was used during 13 seconds. Copy. 20.01.36, SKD deactivation. Uh, GK, uh, uh, main command time is at 20.01.37 and 20.01.50. Uh, at that time, GK uh, plus 10 command was sent. Again, we're currently in uh, a handover period, one of the longer ones that we'll encounter today, but hoping to get some of those views of the Soyuz spacecraft from those high-definition view, views um, of the cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. In the meantime, we're tracking hashtag AskNASA questions on Twitter. Keep sending those in, and we'll try to find some time to answer those. Uh, impulse 4 is complete. We're looking for that fifth impulse burn. Should be coming up here shortly. In the meantime, uh, we have a question from Mr. Promontory, who's asking if we're able to see the Soyuz passing by and docking uh, with the International Space Station from any of the cameras. As you just saw a little bit earlier before the handover period, yes, we will actually be getting high-definition views from some of the external cameras. Many of these cameras were actually installed on Spacewalks earlier this year, providing nice high-definition views controlled from our flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston.
Again, keep sending in those hashtag Ask NASA questions. Standing by for confirmation of the fifth impulse burn. Ranges 880, rate 2.6, and the tow approach and attitude thrusters are uh, activated and uh, uh, train retrograde motion copy. And we are receiving the image now. Could you please reposition the screen again? Okay, copy. It can work now. Thank you. And it looks like we have some video communication back. We might experience another lag, uh, but while we have it, you can see the International Space Station right in the crosshairs of the Soyuz vehicle. That's now uh, just under 800 meters away from the International Space Station. Again, in Cyrillic, you can uh, keep follow along with the range and range rate. Range is 700. The range will be at the bottom left of the screen as we undergo another handover period. Well, again, uh, we're not receiving the TV image anymore. Please provide uh, your commentary. Um, the power um, thrusters uh, are activated and current range is 660 and uh, closing rate is 2 meters. Range is 620 and closing rate is 1.67. Uh, thrusters are deactivated. Copy. You can hear in the handover period, um, do not currently have video communication from the station, but we do have audio. Soyuz Commander uh, Oleg Kononenko uh, reading good signs uh, on the approach of Soyuz MS-11 to the International Space Station. Five hundred is the current range. Closing rate is one point forty nine. Copy. Still awaiting a video communication, but a good uh, readout of both the fifth and sixth impulse burns. The rate is 1.4. Copy. Now closing in at about 400 meters from the station. The crew aboard the Soyuz MS-11 craft about to uh, begin the fly around mode. This will set them up to fly around the International Space Station and position themselves uh, in a station-keeping position, flying perfectly in line with the International Space Station, assessing that they are go for docking and beginning their final approach. We are in the fly-around mode. Copy. 
the indicator is so we use MS-11 craft now in the fly around mode we can from the when we regain video communication we should be able to see views of the uh, Soyuz craft moving towards uh, I guess the top of the International Space Station this would be the zenith or the space facing side We can see MRM2 on the periscope. The range is 300, inaudible. Yes, we can see the image in Paris. Copy all. The range is 280 kilometers, and uh, the range rate is 0.6. Copy. Getting views from the Soyuz spacecraft once again. Soyuz still uh, at the uh, bottom of the International Space Station. You can see. Um, the crosshair is pointing towards the Russian segment, and you can see some of the visiting vehicles that are currently docked. At the aft end, or on the left side, you can see Progress 71 uh, currently docked to the aft end of the Zvezdas module. The range is Along that vertical crosshair, you can see uh, seven kilometers. Progress 70. Five meters per second. To the right of that, Soyuz MS-09 that carried Serena Anand Chancellor Alexander Gerst and Sergei Prokopiev to the station, and will return them uh, here in the next few weeks. Lining up with the crosshairs at the seemingly top of the station. That will be the final destination for today's docking. That is the uh, Poisk module sticking out the top uh, on the opposite side of where Progress 70 is currently positioned. So we use, uh, you can see from the telemetry at the bottom left of this screen. Still just over uh, 200 meters away from the International Space Station. A very slow approach at this point at about 0.3 meters per second. For those of you just joining us, thank you. We are uh, watching the uh, rendezvous and docking of the Soyuz MS-11 craft to the International Space Station. Right now is a view of the Soyuz 11, 11 craft currently in a fly-around mode as part of its automated rendezvous and docking to the International Space Station. Inside our uh, Soyuz commander and Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko, Also, NASA astronaut uh, Anne McLean and Canadian Space Agency astronaut David St. Jacques. The Soyuz uh, in a fly around mode now, orienting itself to the zenith or the top portion of the International Space Station. Right in the middle of the crosshairs there is the Progress 70 at the opposite side towards the top. 
that is the Poisk module where the Soyuz MS-11 craft will be docking today. The range is 210 meters. Your rate is 0.12. Copy all. The range is approximately 200 meters. The rate is 0.1 meters per second. Copy. Soyuz MS-11 continuing its fly around mode to get into position for docking to the Poisk module. Uh, just above the crosshairs there at the top portion of the International Space Station. The Earth starting to come into view. What you're seeing there is the South Pacific Ocean. The International Space Station currently 256 statute miles over the ocean, traveling on a southwest to northeast coast, about to cross over the west coast of Ecuador. The range is 200 meters. We're performing the fly around, and we can see MRM2, copy. Soyuz vehicle uh, continuing its fly around, everything looking good so far. Telemetry from the Soyuz vehicle rating at just under 200 meters from the International Space Station. After this fly around mode, the next uh, milestone will be a station keeping mode, where the Soyuz will essentially hold its position 80 meters. and begin a final series of checks before the command is issued for final approach to the International Space Station to dock. Docking time currently scheduled at 11.36 a.m. Central Time. The docking node. Inaudible? Is G15 eliminated? Not yet. No, it's not eliminated yet. Copy all. Kursk has returned to the 
course, is in pre-chow or approach mode. We're performing the maneuver. G15 is eliminated. Copy all. So he is uh, performing a roll maneuver. We are standing by for station. You can see uh, sort of in the crosshairs there is the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Copy. After the uh, station keeping where it flies in tandem with the International Space Station and begins its final approach, the crosshairs will um, be heading towards a, uh, a marker or a target that's positioned on the uh, docking mechanism of the Poisk module. Soyuz is currently just under 200 meters away. As the Soyuz approaches a little bit closer, you'll be able to see clearly the target uh, that's on the outside of the Poisk module. Station keeping is confirmed. The maneuver is complete. Copy. We are sending L-17 command. And please also send the final approach command. Copy all. Yes, you can minimize it. Copy. I'm sending this command. Yes, I'll do it right now. Copy. Okay, so we are sending the final approach command. Copy. The command has been sent. Copy. So the uh, Soyuz now in a station keeping mode. Very quickly assessed uh, approach looks good and has initiated the final approach command. The range is 178. You can see the range uh, rate starting to increase as the Soyuz begins its final approach. Soyuz currently uh, just under uh, 170 meters away from the space station. Gaining the rate right now, the rate is 0 0.81. Uh, copy and 160 meters is the range, copy. Another series of milestones. Uh, as the Soyuz gets closer to the International Space Station, the closure rate will slow to about one tenth of a meter per second. The range is 140. The station itself will enter into a free drift mode so that there is uh, no unwanted movements that may affect a safe docking of the station itself. The docking mechanism will power up on the Soyuz and will wait for a confirmed contact and confirmed capture for the Soyuz MS-11 craft to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. The two currently flying in tandem 252 statute miles over Ecuador. The crosshairs are aligned can you see that? Yes. The range is 100 meters. 0.5 meters per second is the rate. A view of the Soyuz from the station itself. You can see the Soyuz approaching the Poisk module. The rate uh, about 0.4 meters per second. Inaudible. The range is 80 meters. The closing rate is 0.42.
160. The range is 70 meters. The rate is 0.3. Copy. The target is at the very center of the cr crosshairs, almost at the very center of the periscope. The range is 60 meters. The rate is 0.2. Can you please switch on the base light? Stand by one. Yeah. Oh, I can see it very well, actually. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it on. The range is 45 meters. The rate is 0.18. SSFP is ready. GSM 9, 12. They're all illuminated. The range is 40 meters. 0.18 is the rate. The target is at the center of the crosshairs. The crosshairs are at the center of the periscope. We are almost at a 30 meter range. Great views of the Soyuz MS-11 craft approaching the space-facing port on the Russian side of the space station. The target is at the center of the periscope. Copy. We're almost at the 20 meter range. The target is at the center of the crosshairs. It's probably uh, misaligned by half a degree from the center, but it's nominal. The range is approximately 20 meters. Everything looking good so far. The Soyuz is currently in a closure rate of one tenth of a meter per second. You can see the target of the docking port now in view. Display, I'm expecting the same flag on format or display 44. It's confirmed. The range is estimated at 18 meters. The target is at the center of the periscope. 
Great views from some of the high definition external cameras of the station. There is some misalignment still. Copy all, I believe that's what it's supposed to be. Copy. The rate is 0.14. The range is approximately 10 meters. The target is at the center of the periscope. There are some misalignments, but they're not critical. Copy. Just 10 meters away. Docking mechanism powered up on the Soyuz. Stand by for contact and capture. Uh, approximately 10 meters. Copy. The target is in the center. Yeah, it's actually not easy to turn the periscope display. The target is in the center. We are at three meters. The target is in the center. We are standing by for the capture. The rate is 0.12. There are some misalignments. We are standing by for the capture. Yes, capture is confirmed. Good contact. Mechanical capture confirmed. Copy all. Moscow State. And capture. So we have capture and um, station is in free drift. Copy. We go to page six. Station is in free drift. Good contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-11 craft. 11.33 a.m. Central Time as the station was flying 251 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. On in pool two, do we need to open SSVP display? Yes, that's correct in work. I've selected it. Copy, thank you. Kadu parameters uh, in the spherical tanks 176, 117 the second one, the prop is 5.8. Copy. All right, so do we need to keep the button pressed? Yes. We are closing RPV-1, R7. We have uh, confirmed contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-11 craft to the Poisk module of the International Space Station. Again, this was at 11.33 a.m. Central Time. The station was 251 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean, just east of the Caribbean. At 20, the next step will be uh, for a series of hooks to drive and hard mate the two vehicles. Once the hooks are closed, there will be a hard mate, and the crew will undergo the procedures to uh, uh, go ahead and equalize the pressure between the two vessels and allow the hatch to open. So, th so the uh, crew of MS-11 could enter the International Space Station and enjoy their fellow Expedition 57 crew members. And um, listen to the noise it's making. Okay. And uh, bow pressure is uh, 850. 850, copy. Copy, Sergey. At 20, 35, 40. 20, 35, 40. Copy all. And please keep the push-to-talk button pressed. Copy.
Когда на МБС перейдем, можно будет отжать. When we, uh, we, we'll tell you when you will need to release the status. What did you just say? Before we move to MBS, we will ask you to release the button. Copy all. MK is a Warsaw and about 8 p.m. Eight twenty-five. MK is eight three five. Moscow, you just need to write In down MRM the table. Two, yes, I can definitely okay. hear the probe. And please send uh, as it's uh, retracting, uh, making the noise. Please send, oh, stand by one. No, don't send it yet. We are not sending And did you hear about uh, stopping recording? We're not sending it. Your go is to stop recording. Yes, and I've already reported that it, it was uh, stopped. Excellent, thank you. That's great. And congratulations on the successful uh, docking of the next Soyuz vehicle, bringing um, up display, your display is uh, illuminated. Excellent, Copy. thank you, uh, Vasily. I'll continue my work. Hatch, or rather, latches opening, hooks opening is not illuminated. I'm sorry, go ahead and send a uh, GAR-4 command at 24000. Come again, what should we send? What command at 24000? Is it GAR-4 command? Yes, that's correct. Copy. It will be sent at 24000 in two minutes from now. Lots of chatter, but uh, after a docking at 11.33 a.m. Central Time, uh, flight controllers are tracking the driving of the hooks to hard mate the MS-11 craft uh, to the International Space Station. Those hooks will uh, pull, essentially pull the MS-11 craft in for that hard mate. Illuminated copy. Welcome to the ISS. Seconds. Get four. At 2400. Yes, your goal uh, to send it. I command was sent in twi at 2400. Copy. We're standing by. I can't tell you for sure now, but you will have to switch to hardline com at some point. Com reconfiguration is in progress, and I am uh, trying to clarify the exact time right now. Okay, sounds good. This is page 68 in your procedure. Page 68. Okay, sounds good. Page 68. Uh, the text in 
uh, frame on page 68, and please uh, tell us the exact time. Uh, we will. Uh, I confirm that um, latches retracted LED is illuminated. Copy. The 11 uh, SS, SSVT uh, mode uh, is uh, completed, and we are sending the 8 command. So you just heard that the uh, hooks have driven and are now closed. The MS-11 craft uh, pulled into the space station. The 8, yes. Uh, the 8, the 11, the 15, gas 17, and S. 11 commands have been sent, and uh, SSVT docking process complete, switching to page 68. Copy. 8 minutes for another set of measurements. GET 2 command is being sent. Moscow, did you copy my last? Stand by for recommendations. Sounds good. Uh, David, uh, deactivate the illumination unit. Okay. Uh, and the heating unit as well? No, just the illumination unit. So now that the hooks are closed, the uh, crew on the station side of the docking mechanism, that includes Sergei Prokopiev and... Um, Serena Onan, Chancellor of NASA and uh, Commander of the Expedition 57 crew aboard the station, Alexander Gerst. They will be waiting to greet their fellow crew members on the Soyuz side of the docking mechanism. Inside, Oleg Kononenko uh, of Roscosmos, and McLean of NASA, and David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency. Successfully docked to the International Space Station at 11.33 a.m. Central Time today. That comes just six hours and two minutes after a successful launch at uh, 5.31 a.m. Central Time. Launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome at Site 1, uh, four laps around the Earth and rendezvous with the station faster than a transatlantic flight from JFK to Heathrow. A successful uh, launch, rendezvous, and docking of the Soyuz MS-11 spacecraft and the three new crew members of Expedition 57 aboard. Next, we look forward to the hatch opening and welcome ceremony. That'll be coming up here shortly. We'll start our coverage at 12.45 p.m. Central Time, looking for a hatch opening around 1.35 p.m. Central Time. You can join us on Facebook.com uh, slash ISS, uh, and as well as NASA.gov and NASA TV. It's a busy day for space flight. Of course, uh, today, if you were tuning into NASA TV, you will have heard uh, some of the great uh, research going aboard the SpaceX CRS-16 CRS craft set to launch tomorrow. You can check out that coverage starting at 12 p.m. Central Time tomorrow for a scheduled launch at 12.38 p.m. Central Time. Again, join us on Facebook, uh, NASA.gov, and NASA TV. A successful launch, rendezvous, and docking of the MS-11 craft. We'll look forward to the hatch opening where the crew uh, will be joining the Expedition 57 crew aboard the International Space Station and begin the wel welcoming ceremony. This is Mission Control Houston.